What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Monster Draft Report, the best draft port around. I'm going to be breaking down prospects. Each video in today's video, I got a special one. George Karlathis, he's one of my favorite draft prospects this whole draft. A lot of mock drafts have him going, him going anywhere from, what, 5 to 25. A lot of people are split on him, but he's currently my third defensive end, and I see him as a top 15 pick. He's been causing havoc, 6'4", 275 out of Purdue. I like what he does week in, week out. Uh, let's get right into his strengths. His first strength is he's one of the best power rushers in this draft. You can make, you know, you can make a uh, comparison that he is the best. You make an argument that he is the best power rusher in this class. It's either down to him or Hudson. And you have a good argument with George Kyloftis. The way he puts his hands on these uh, tackles and the way he fights with power. He's not going to win with speed most of the time, but his power rush is the reason why he's up here. The jump he has made year in, year out, he didn't play a lot in 2020 because he had the, the injury, but he, the way he came out and played this year and led Purdue to a ball game and led Purdue's defense, it was it was great to see week in, week out. And I think another one of his strengths is his flexibility. He can... that flex, Flexibility that he can play both defensive end and defensive tackle. The way he can play both is huge in the NFL. He'll definitely be at, uh, every down defensive end in the NFL, but the fact that he can bump inside if he needs to is huge. He, he's That's good for any scheme that he wants to play in. I think his next strength is his burst off line of scrimmage. The time, he's not great in the speed, but if you have that burst against, defensive ta against offensive tackles, it's huge in the NFL. The way that you can just snap up and, and go to the, the quarterback right away is huge. And his next one is a great change of direction. The way he, he closes down on offensive tackles and, and hits the running back, he can do that a lot. And a lot of people try to you know move the pocket on him, but he breaks it down, breaks down the pocket, and then the moving pocket, and he, he's great in that. His last strength in his pursuit, his motor is insane. If you see a running back down the hash, he he will chase it down. He'll chase down, like I just said, the moving pocket, the moving quarterback. He can do that. That's why I like George Karloftis so much is because his pursuit, the motor. I mean, it, he's playing with some J.J. Watt kind of level. It, week in, week out for Purdue, man. Now, his weakness. You're going to hear this a lot in his draft report, his arm length. A lot of people don't like his arm length, the way he tests that. You need long arms in the NFL, especially as edge rushers. And a lot of people are talking about his arm length because when you he, when he got the offensive tackle, you need the hand fight, you need to get his arm, you got a long arm, you got to do different stuff with your arms. You can't have short arms in the NFL. And he's not going to you know, test out good and that his length and everything. So that's a lot of red flags for NFL GMs. He has to get better in the run game, too. The run game, a lot of people, he says a lot, misses a lot of tackles, doesn't, his his play recognition is not well for run game. So he has to get better in these two categories to be, you know, that all pro, all the, that pro bowl kind of defensive end. I think he will be. I think the the scheme has to be good for him. The, he has to play along a great defensive line his first year to get acclimated and just learn under these guys, learn pass rush moves, learn how to beat offensive tackles with speed every, each play. Because he's got the power rush. He needs to add that great speed uh, speed rush each play. I think some good fits for him are the Jets. Jets currently hold the fourth and 10th pick. Uh, so, you know, if you want to get him at 10, I think that's a great value if he falls to 10. Because I don't know if he's going to fall to 10. Giants at 5 and 7. I know a lot of Giants fans... They just want the best player available. And I think if you have Carl Loftus at 5 or 7, that's a great value pick. The Falcons at 8. The Falcons kind of need everything on their defense. If you get a George, if you get a guy like George Carl Loftus, man, he's going to cause havoc. You need a great edge rush to be good in the NFL. Look at how good Miles Garrett was this year for the, for the Browns. Look how good TJ Watt this year was good for the Steelers. You need an edge rusher to be good. And when you get that ad rusher, they, they try to double team a lot. That, that causes the guys to open up throughout the defensive line. You need a good ad rush to get after the quarterback, man. That's how the, the league is now the passing league. The last fit, I think, good Eagles at 15 and 16. They have great back-to-back -back picks. They need defensive talent, maybe some, some weapons for Jalen Hurts for a receiver, but they need a corner. They need an edge. They need a re receiver. So 
15 at 16, you might want to add a George Kyloptis, man. I, I love him, man. He's number 11 on my big board. I just, I don't see him leaving the top 15. And that's that's the great top 15 pick. If he leaves the top 15, you're going to get great value out of him. The, the the teams that are picking outside the top 15 that made the playoffs and add a guy like George Kyloptis, man, you're adding a great Great defensive end. He's at he's to add value to right away. He's gonna be playing for you. He's gonna be every down defensive end. So I love George Kyle Loftus. Uh, his player comp is Ryan Kerrigan. Just makes just makes sense, right? Just makes sense. I, I love George Kyle Loftus. If you get George Kyle Loftus on your team, definitely look to add his jersey. Get his jersey or something. He's gonna be on your team for a while. Not gonna be a bust. He's gonna be a great value defensive end for your team. That's all I got for this video, guys. Make sure to like the video, subscribe down to Six Man Blitz for more content like this. Uh, comment down below if you want to see me do another Purdue player, another Big Ten player. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you think about this this uh, player uh, draft profile for George Kyle Loftus. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you agree with what I'm saying? So definitely let me know down below what you guys think. Check out the playlist. I have a whole lot of more comparisons draft profiles coming down the line so if you're if you're into that stuff check it out man and make sure to subscribe and that's all i got see you guys next video peace